Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, the one, the only, the original, the authentic, the, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, trolls, and donate to the channel. All right, that was heaven and hell, and that's what a week and a month it's been. Uh... But this is to show you six paranormal books I got from Ted. No thousands of dollars. All right, we have, and I just noticed that my Captain America sign with the LEDs turned sideways. I'll do a video of that. The earthquake turned it. It's been sitting here for 12 years, not moved the previous earthquakes, but this one, it's now tilted like this. And you don't notice a thing. And paranormal books dropped off the bookcase by the door, onto the floor, and jumped out of the bookcase, which is kind of mind-boggling. They, they came off the shelves. All right, we have here, by the way, no little girl, and uh, now she had been coughing and sneezing, not as bad as Fluffy, and maybe she got sick and went off to, you know, die. I don't think she'll survive being sick. I haven't had the money to take her and Fluffy to the vet. Fluffy was coughing a lot late today. He, was, he wo woke up and he was sneezing. By the way, this hurt today and I uh, really hurt. I went to sleep. I slept. Finally, I got a decent amount of sleep. I'm, I'm so tired because I didn't sleep all week. And I got about seven hours of sleep. And Fuzzy coughed up two huge, huge hairballs. So that's what's going on with the cats. Uh, I ha now have um, about 20 people keeping an eye out for a little girl. And I put an ad on Craigslist, a uh, lost cat ad. So, okay. Uh, this is the grid of the gods, the aftermath of the cosmic war and the physics of the pyramid peoples. Sounds like a weird movie, Attack of the Pyramid Peoples. And this is an, it says here, the ancient power grid revealed, consider the possibility there's an alchemical cosmology in the very ancient stone monuments, and this is connected to the Mayans, their myths, and the mysterious machine ruins of Pumu Punku. And he goes on from that. So this is uh, this covers the Mayans, alchemical cosmology, and quantum mechanics and stone paradoxes at Pumu Punku. Anomalies at the temples of Angkor, the Mesopotamian, say that, Mesopotamian pyramid peoples, grid geopolitical geomancy. I'll have to ask Richard T. Oakland about this. The ancient prime read in Giza, divination, animation, healing, and numerical traditions. I'm glad I have to say this three times fast. Transmitters, temples, and Nazis. Nazis? And the Master Plan of a Hidden Elite. And this guy's, there are other books in this series. The Cosmic War, the Giza Death Star. Death Star? The Giza Death Star Deployed, the Giza Death Star Detroit. <laughs> Reich of the Black Sun. Secret to the Unified Field. Nazi International. The SS Brotherhood of the Bell. And the LBJ and the Conspiracy to Kill Kennedy. So collect them all. All right, there's that one. This is by Joseph P. Farrell with Scott D. DeHart. All right. Then we have the Giza Power Plant, Technologies of Ancient Egypt by Christopher Dunn. My phone is squawking. I need to charge it. Did a highly advanced civilization exist in prehistory? Is the Giza Pyramid a remnant of their technology? Then what was the power source that fueled such a civilization? Guys and chariots had a power source. Go figure. Okay, Lost Technologies of Ancient Egypt, Advanced Engineering, the Temples of the Pharaohs by Christopher Dunn. From the pyramids in the north to the temples in the south, ancient artisans left their marks all over Egypt, unique marks that reveal craftsmanship we would be hard-pressed to duplicate today, drawing together results of more than 30 years of researches and nine field study journeys to Egypt. Christopher Dunn prevents a setting stone-by-stone -stone analysis of key Egyptian monuments, including the statue of Ramses II at Luxor and the fallen crowns that laid at its feet. 
His modern day engineering expertise provides a unique group view, sorry, into the sophisticated technology used to create each famous monument in prehistoric times. So there's this one. I haven't read any of these yet because we only get two hours of sleep from Monday to Thursday. You're not reading anything. All right, this one, we travel the ocean to back to Central America. Mysteries of the Mexican Pyramid, dimensional analysis on original drawings by Hugh Harleston, Jr., and historic illustrations from many sources by T Peter Tompkins, author of The Great Secret to the Great Pyramid. So, this uh, has all kinds of photos in it. Ted showed me this book once, and... Um, so there's that one, and I don't know if you call this stuff paranormal, but it's certainly interesting. Secret Chamber Revisited, the Quest for the Lost Knowledge of Ancient Egypt by Robert Vival. Since 1993, Robert Vival has been embroiled in the many controversies including involving the search for lost treasures of the pyramid. Builder. It's a strange but true story in folds, implements American business moguls, the prestigious National Geographic Society, several Ivy League universities, the Edgar Casey Foundation, the Freemasons, Christian fundamentalists, Zionists, and the Egyptian government. <laughs> Got everybody in there. So that's that one. And then finally we have, and I'll, I'll review these when I read them, in Search of Ancient Astronomies, Stonehenge of Andonican Archaeo Astronomy Discovers Our Sophisticated Ancestors, edited by e. C. Dr. E.C. Krupp, director of the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. This is from 1978. And may have heard of anybody of these people? Nope. <laughs> There's articles on, uh, I think this is a skeptic book. It's Observatory of the Gods and Other Astronomical Fantasies by E.C. Krupp. So, and uh, a lot of pictures in here. Let's see what it says. In this exciting, lavishly illustrated book, E.C. Krupp, the director of the Griffiths Observatory, and four other distinguished scientists survey the new scientific discipline of ast archaeo -astron astronomy the study of the astronomies of ancient and prehistoric times. Research in this area has led to astonishing factual conclusions about the uses of the great monuments of the distant past, Stonehenge and other Neolithic structures of Europe, the cliffs, mounds, and medicine wheels on the North American Indians, temples of the Mayan Aztec, and pyramids of Egypt. Dr. Krupp and his colleagues show in fascinating detail how some of these were constructed according to celestial alignments, and how others actually functions at precision astronomical observatories. Although archaeology and astronomy have been exploited by wildly unsubstantiated theories and ancient astronauts, interplanetary cataclysms, and the like were somehow the impetus for the development of human intelligence, the astro, the archaeo astronomers painstakingly make the case for our forebears in their own right. So I knew this was a skeptic book, but what the hell. So this is the sixth one. And uh, I did some more cleaning in my kitchen. I took a whole bunch of loose stuff off the counter and bagged it up. And because uh, stuff kept, the earthquake made things fall on the floor. But other than that, I haven't done much of anything um, because I haven't gotten any sleep. Oh, I finally charged the AAA battery. So... Those are done. And uh, I got a headache. <laughs> so that's all I've been doing. Uh, uh, no no little girl, though. And I'm going to take steps to try to do the best I can to find her. I'll go out tomorrow and start calling her in the neighborhood as I get the energy. And then get, I've got her next week. And get, I'll get my inhalers. I'm having trouble breathing lately. All right, anyway, that's that's the channel news and new books. And uh, and I know both of my cats are upset about Little Girl because they're now sleeping in my sleeping space all the time. 
and I know they miss her very much. I hope she comes back. I hope I can find her. I checked with the pound and not call them because we're so sleepy today. I just Kathy called me up, woke me up, tell me she loved me and missed me. And uh, I went immediately back to sleep in seconds. But I did check the uh, animal control website. They have 12 pages of turned in lost animals, lost cats, no little girl there. So I will call them on Monday and see if little girl may have been turned in. And uh, then I'm, I didn't go to the store today either. I just couldn't keep my eyes open. And this really hurt. It felt like someone had punched it. And the socket right below it is still sore, as is this when it's improving, but it's not healed. And I've still got my damn sinus infection, which is also improving, but it's been flaring up too. So uh, today when I went out to feed Talkie and Tiny, it was very warm, very muggy. I got a bunch of corn tortillas from the soup kitchen, ate two helpings of spaghetti, and... Uh, I had to laugh <laughs> when I when I fed Tiny one talking with sniffing his butt. I'm glad we don't do that. Anyway, <laughs> I go, Toggy, why are you sniffing her butt while she's eating? And he didn't want to eat his wet food. Very unusual for Toggy. All right, uh, because of the sinuses and that I go out and call for the little girl, I'm going to have to start carrying a insulated mug of hot tea. My voice keeps going, so I'm going to end this one. Have a great night. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, donated to the channel. I found some very interesting stuff for sale on Craigslist. We shall see about getting some of that next month. Oh, and I got my uh, credit card bills. And one reason I could not buy as much stuff on one of them for the cats is they charge me an annual fee of $94, which hurt. So... Um, I will, uh, I don't have any other bills. I put three. That's weird. I had three bills, and I only got one bill. Uh, maybe they fell down or something. Um, yeah, they charge me an annual fee of $74 and an authorized user fee. So, oh, there's the other bill. They're all folded together. The Amazon card, I'm very disturbed. They promised me that I could add more money to the account. And I got told that they could, uh, I could only get the initial hundred since it's all I've given them. I'm going to have to call them up tomorrow and ask for a supervisor and say, what the hell is this? And I'm going to look into getting Earthlink next month if I can. That will be $70 to start the service so I can get DSL back, a phone back, maybe cable. And, uh... Then I can have Wi-Fi, and I still can't live stream until I get another iPad, but at least I can have my uh, other computers working in the bedroom and have television. And this is the Ultra card that went into the little camera. And I think this was 12 bucks. and um, I'm going to go up to Walmart and go get more cat food. And I will film the Christmas decorations and the Halloween decorations at Walmart and Home Depot. Those have always been popular. And I'll go over to the 99 cent store and film those. So that's it. Okay, I got to go. I'm almost out of time. This is George Senna. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. And stay safe out there. Bye-bye for now.